Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answer Man. Maybe you've heard of it. Actually, this isn't <laughs> Annie, this is Anthony. Anthony asks, what's the one or two thing in the driving throw foot? Fret? <laughs> Hold on. What's the one or two thing in the driving throwing form that separates an am golfer throwing drives 350 and a pro golfer throwing 450 to 500 feet plus? What is the main mistakes you see us AMS players make? Or what is it about throwing farther that we AM players just don't understand? Thanks, the other Anthony. I mean, I've got an idea. Technique, probably. Yeah. Form. Yeah. Smoothness. A I'll lot of times when I see an amateur pick up a disc or somebody who's just starting out, they don't, they don't, everything doesn't click yet. It's just kind of, sure, they have a lot of arm speed, and that helps get some power and some distance out there. But if you watch a player like Paul, for instance, he throws far, and it doesn't, it looks effortless. Yeah. That's so stupid. Dude. And it's just nice and smooth. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's really what it boils down to is having a smooth follow-through release um, using your whole core as opposed to just having a, a, a quick arm. Yeah. I, I'd say one of the big mistakes I see from AMS is that they try to go too fast from the start to the finish, mm -hmm. right? So their their run up steps are fast and their reach back is super fast and it's it's just ev everything's at 100 miles an hour when in reality what you want to do is go from slow to fast in every portion of the throw so you want your footwork to start slow and finish fast yeah. you want your reach back to start start slow and then your um and then your pull through to start slow and finish fast i mean same with your hips same with your shoulders um yeah acceleration i think is a is a really mm -hmm. big deal that it feels like, all right, I'm going to throw fast, so it'll go farther. It, that's not – that. it doesn't translate to distance. So what are some practical things that an AM can do to sure. work on that? Sure. I would slow I would slow down my footwork because uh, a l more than you would think not in disc golf. Not just footwork, but everything. Well, sure. But I'm just, saying more than you'd think – Yeah. More than you'd think in your throw is affected by having good footwork. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, if you're if – you're, getting your step slower and then you're still reaching back and pulling your arm through too fast, it's not going to make a difference. So yeah, slowing down in general would be good. Um, I would be really sensitive to the nose angle you throw on the disc because you could throw a 350 foot shot with the nose slightly up, but if you get it flat or even a little nose down and let it carry some wind or, or get a full flight, you might be getting closer to 400 or 450. Um, reaching back all the way is pretty important. I'm, I'm not very good at that. My reach back is really short compared to most people. Um, and so I don't engage quite all of the muscles, uh, the big muscle groups that you need to to throw. Well, it's also far. hard if, if you're a player that's been playing for a while and your reach yeah. back isn't, yeah. isn't a full reach back and you try, your timing is off. Oh, yeah. Your timing's going to be off for a while. That's why slowing everything down when you're trying to learn the X step or trying to, to get the maximum reach back really does help. Yep. Thank you.